Ja, på fem minuter. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wise's Electronic Albums. I hope you're all uh, doing well and having a good new year so far. Today's episode is on a very cool uh, punky experimental album. I've been listening to them for a while now and I think they are very cool and stand out. The album is called Half Machine from the Sun, The Lost Tapes from 79-80 by Chrome. It was released May 28, 2013. The album has 18 tracks and a length of an hour and 13 minutes and 44 seconds. The style is space rock, post-punk, and experimental. These are my three favorite tracks. Track 6, Fukushima Nagasaki. Track 9, Sound and Light. Track 10, Autobahn Brazil. Now, if you don't have your earbuds or headphones on, put them on now and enjoy the show. Track 6 has a very cool opening, uh, kind of sounds like a record being pushed or sped up. It then opens up into this uh, wild ride with loud electric guitars and beats and this uh, crazy watery distorted sounding singing that sounds like a robot from outer space. Uh, very punk and cool, uh, totally out of this world. It really takes off halfway through the track with this swirling synths and delays and electric guitar uh, gets uh, very loud and intense and progresses. Very cool. Track 9, another intense track, as similar to track 6 but different. The singing is more lost and twisted in the mix, uh, very experimental and again out of this world. It's uh, more chill, I really like the beat and it has a nice synth there. Um, the stereo guitars on either side has lots of flanger and delay goodness. Track 10 is a bit different sounding, it has uh, lots of uh, voice samples going on and uh, they're pretty cool, it could be from a movie or show, I have no idea. but. They're a very nice touch, and uh, this track has the most uh, voice samples going on throughout the whole album. So yeah, it's lots of samples, which is cool. Um, this track is more chilled out, but, uh, not as wild, but it, at the same time, it still has that loud electric guitar going on throughout most of the track. Um, it has this, this uh, jungle feel to it, 
um, with this light uh, woodwind synth that changes tone here and there. That sounds uh, really good. Um, it has this uh, real cool uh, beat. It's a chilled out top hat type beat, and um, I always like those kind of beats. Also, it um, has this interesting uh, synth uh, in the background that uh, sounds really good. It really uh, gives the track a bit of this uh, kind of a Scarface vibe. Um, it has these cool parts where it seems to slow down just slightly, and uh, that, was, that was a neat effect that they added to it. Um, it also has this uh, nice part that chills out a bit more with these crystally synths. And uh, they were in the track earlier, but uh, you don't really notice them as much as the loud guitar kind of electric guitar is taking over. But as the track progresses, that electric guitar kind of chills out and goes more into the background, and you can hear these kind of nice crystally uh, synths happening, which is nice. The mysterious voice samples continue throughout the journey, and uh, some percussion beats add on to this uh, jungly sounding track. It, it sounds great. Another track I really enjoyed was uh, track 13, The Rain. There was another track I liked, and I mean, I enjoyed most of the tracks, uh, some more than others, but track 11, Submachine, was another highlight uh, you should check out. That's a pretty good track, track 11, Submachine. And track 8, uh, Ghost, that was another cool track. I love its weird ghostly singing in that one, another very cool experimental type of singing. I, uh, they always do very cool singing. That's that's one of the main things I like about these guys is their strange uh, experimental singing that they, they do in their, their music here. Anyways, uh, track 13, The Rain. This is uh, a lot less experimental sounding. It's a bit gloomy, but it sounds cool. Uh, nice electric guitars and beats. A much more clear singing going on which is uh, nice, because most of the tracks are, like I said, experimental singing. Um, I really like the synths going on. The track doesn't change that much, making it feel a bit themey. Um, it's got kind of a bittersweet feeling. It's relaxing, very good rhythm. Uh, it also ha it's, it's a bit of a longer track, which is a nice. I like the ending to the track. track, uh, track 18, Sunset, is another track I really enjoyed. Um, it's, real, it's more chilled out, it's got a really nice beat, and it sounds uh, similar to another artist I really enjoy, uh, Casino vs. Japan. And uh, yeah, that's, it sounds similar to his music. So there you go, another album for you guys to venture into if you haven't already. I first heard of Chrome uh, some years ago while I was uh, shopping at a record store. I really like their cool uh, funky flanger and experimental sound. I've collected a handful of their albums since then. The album is a very nice collection of tracks that were seemingly set aside or lost, which is interesting. Um, the album has a mix of feelings in it. Some tracks are darker than others, some more experimental than others. There's also some tracks that are purely instrumental, like track 16, Sugar Moog Pops, a sick track. I really enjoyed that one too. Overall, a very highly energetic album. Chrome is one of the coolest experimental punk bands I've ever heard. Um, if you're new to Chrome, I recommend checking out their uh, first album, Alien Soundtracks 1 and 2, for a bit more of a raw feel of their music. It's less experimental. Now, if you've seen it on Wise Picks, it's sound to be heard, so I hope you guys check out the full album. Okay, that was uh, today's album pick. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the show and liked what you heard, hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up. Also, hit that bell so you'll be notified when I have my next video out. If you really enjoyed today's episode, you can buy me a coffee in the link in the description below. You can find our three latest releases in the description below as well. If you want to hear more of our music and upcoming releases, 
check out our other channels and websites. There is a new release coming. I'm not sure when, but it's a, a project called Castle Mouse. It's an ambient, comfy synth slash dungeon synth project I'm working on with my brother. I'll put a link for one of the tracks in the description below if you're interested to listen to the track. Um, headphones are a must. Um, you can only listen to the track with headphones. So yeah, if you're not if you're not using headphones, you, you can't listen. I'm just kidding, you guys. But headphones do make it sound much better. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and have an awesome day and night. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.